For now, let's march on. We got to start thinking about the upcoming drafts and some upcoming contracts. Rupe Hints, David Posternock, Gerard, Nurse. I mean, we had some good, uh, good veteran leadership here, and a good amount of it's probably going to go right out the door, you know, out the door, right out the window. Call it what you will. Um, we're going to wait to see who retires first. I am at, there's a good amount of our core that could retire. And uh, for the record, with Korhanen, he's still got plenty of RFA years left. We don't have to lock him up long term yet. What about Koski? We will offer Koski Ranta a contract just to get him to the end of his RFA years. Pretty much just go 2.5 million. But yeah, everybody else will uh, will hold off. We will hold off. All right. Let's see what happens. Boston wins the lottery. They have the number one pick. Obviously, we're not up there. We have Ottawa's pick as well, but we know they were the best team in the Eastern Conference. But hey, two first round picks and Lassie has re-signed with us. Big moment here. Retired players. Let's take a look. Nathan McKinnon is gone. Retires as a Canuck. Nick Ehlers is gone. Dylan Larkin. Kyle Connor. Victor Arvidsson's gone. Defensively. Wow. A lot of the veterans didn't retire. Dumba, Uyghur. In goal, Tristan Jari. One win shy of 400. Demko, Matt Murray. Interesting. We did not lose many. Jeff Sack, White Cloud, who, and Matt Murray, who were uh, AHL depth. Hey, Kip, what's up? Uh, we did set the record for best regular season of all time. Uh, chat used a crap load of suspensions, though, and we fell in the first round. So, what are you going to do? To the draft we go. The draft, we go. Oli Eminen is on waivers. Or not on waivers, but on the trade block. So we have picks 27 and 28, and then 37 and 52. It's not bad. Likes obviously going nowhere. I don't know if we're bringing back Igor. Take Calgary's goalie Alberts, but we don't need him. I just wanted to see if there would be anything overly interesting to get for Backlund, given that this guy... Might not, uh, might not be that decent. I got, I got nothing. I mean, some of those deals might be worth it, but New York, Beaulieu, Sandine, Adams will probably be an NHLer for us this next year. It's really weird to already have to be in the spot of thinking about next season, but you never know. I really think we have too many players to move out, though. You know? We're pretty well set up. I mean, there are guys like Francois. Well, this was the guy that we drafted at low franchise, and he's actually low elite. So, not a guaranteed medium elite. McArdle, I mean, it's just getting draft picks, and we already have plenty. Uh, really quickly, is this a franchise year? It is not. Might as well see if someone in the top five wants to trade. So let's go talk to Boston, Arizona, and Tampa. To start, the Bruins do not want to move that pick. The Coyotes. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, no shot. What about Tampa at three? We've done a lot of business with Tampa. Even though we keep sending them good players, they still suck. Won't be doing business with them this year, though. Uh, Washington and Chicago to round this out. Sorry, I'm focused here too because obviously the timer's a bit low. Not doing that. What about Chicago? Chicago, Chicago. Regeer, the 27th and the 28th. 
That might actually be worth it. Regeer is a 66 at 19 years old. So kind of bog standard medium elite. Who is available later on in this draft? Apparently we had some scouts that just took the fucking year off. Like our other options trading up for Robinson. Craig Craig! We got a Craig Craig. Not very good though. Peter Sedlax, two years out. Jordan Weimer. This isn't uh This isn't looking like the best draft. What the hell were our scouts doing? Really? Jesus Christ! Who the hell were they looking at? This is insane. No information on anybody. The fuck? Well, I mean, based on what we know, this could be a really weak draft class at the top, so... They were picketing with SAG. Well, it's a good cause, but... At the same time, holy crap. We'll do it. Regeer, the 27th and the 28th to move up to the 5th pick. And we'll take the center, Zach Scarlett. We know nothing about him aside from the fact that he was a projected top 5 pick and is a depth forward out of the gates. So that's a good bit of business. Also played for Tri-City in the WHL this year. So uh, we get a decent little center, which is nice. Not really a bad addition. That's our one trade up. And uh, based on the rest of this draft, I wouldn't want to trade up again, even if I could. So we do well to get that fifth overall pick. Pick 37 in round two. Dan Girardi. Dan Girardi Jr. Liam Schustrom. Two years out. It's not bad. Devin Joe. Yep. Not even debating it. Oh, if that's actually how good he is. Confir oh my god, let's go! Confirmed gold shutdown for the 37th overall pick. We had to pounce on that, and we did. Devin Jones, welcome aboard. If there was anybody else who was even that close to being that good, then... Uh, Fine. I'm good with it. What do we got with pick 52? Pick Spike Ranger. What a great name. Did he have confirmed quick draw as a defender? I mean, it might have been three out of four, not four out of four. Did I say quick draw instead of shutdown? I don't know. Maybe I did. I was quick on the draw. I can't look at it from there now. That's weird. Guaranteed low leap potential. Low leap potential still the best potential, uh, arguably, in the game. So I'm certainly good with it. Hey, he is showing up a quick draw. Interesting. We'll see if that's actually the case. We will see if that is actually the case. Makes me worry about that confirmed... Uh, Option there. There is nobody for us with this next pick. Jesus. This could be the trade down. There is that medium elite, but he's trash. It would literally just be for the trade value. Same with Marco Freeze. Just all be for the trade value. All be for the trade value. Where was that guy projected to go? 62-ish. We were to trade this pick. as our one trade down, because it's looking terrible. Is there anybody who's offering us a pick around 62nd? 
If so, we could go for it. If not, then... Yeah, it's not going to happen. Um, I mean, a fourth round pick this year, third rounder next year is certainly not that bad. Third rounder this year, third rounder next year is even better from Calgary. That would get us back to seven. If I'm not mistaken. That's right. I can't take two picks, though. You're right. Ugh. Well, we'll be making this pick, won't we? We will be making that pick, then. All right. Well, it's kind of a shame that the second round pick is going to be a bit of a waste, but it'd be what it do. Uh, let's see so far. I mean, we have Jones and Scarlett as a center. I got to call a timeout here. So Jones running as a left defenseman. All right. Who the hell are we going for here? AJ, hey what's up? Well, I mean, I guess I read what's up, but good to see you. We'll go for the random left wing Sergey Korolov because there is nothing else for us there. I mean, I could have asked them for that pick, but at the same time, I've seen a lot of what the offers have been recently, and they haven't been great. Uh, we're going to take Phrase here as well with our free pick. So it still works out that we might get a medium lead with high value. Uh, another left wing. We can't take that guy. So many unknowns. Like, seriously. Who the hell were our scouts looking at this year? Jesus. We got no choice but to go for the uh, right D Tommy Lutonen. Yikes. This draft is, uh, I mean, at the high end, it's great, but man, it, it fizzled out. Uh, Theo Perry or Nick McNaughton. Naughton's four years out, allegedly. Theo's five years out. We'll go for Nick McNaughton. We haven't taken a right wing yet. And with that, we are out of this draft. It went very well for us. Again, we traded a kind of average medium elite and two first round picks to trade up to number five. And then Jones looks like he could be an absolute home run with that second round pick. Anyway, we have a lot of coaches that are due and a lot of contracts as well. First things first, uh, Gadulin was signed as a depth option. Chartron can be let go up for now, too. Um, and I do think I'm going to try to bring back Igor as the backup. There's really no reason not to. Let's just do the whole due diligence here and see who could potentially be out there. But we know we're not going to be signing a great goalie like Tara Tukin. We already have a really good goalie. A green six months on the primer. Thank you for that. It's the one thing that can cheer me up from chat's uh, bizarrely timed sabotage, of course, is uh, money. <laughs> We'll go one year, 1.9 million for Shesty. No clauses that we have to worry about or anything like that, which is pretty good. He had a full no, excuse me, a full no movement last year. All right, so we'll see what happens there. Uh, defensively, Sam Gerard wants to leave. Has a great, great season and now wants to cash out elsewhere, so... Sam Girard, thank you for your service. Darnell Nurse still wants to get paid a shitload of money, and no kidding. He was one of the best defensemen in history there with a plus 92. Um, and Darnell Nurse is staying. Like, uh, we will flip a coin. 
Will Darnell Nurse have a no movement clause? Yes, he will. So, if I bring back Darnell, he cannot be traded, but that is, uh, that is okay. It's fine by me. That is fine by me. Uh, we'll see if we can get him for slightly cheaper than that in case there are some good options out there in free agency. But honestly, I mean, even if he diminishes greatly, I still want him at least as a third pairing guy. Uh, Nick Haig, my boy. I'll sign you to that. No reason not to. Uh, Regula as a depth piece he wants out. Uh, Pekka, we can hold on to, I guess. I mean, you're not going to get that much better. Uh, Zaitsev, I hate to say it, as expected, he did not really develop. Like, he's fine. We'll keep him for the morale, but yeah, he's, he's nothing special compared to Schrader with the Islanders. Uh, Artem Samsonov will sign you to your ELC. We will not sign Josh Volk, who was a fourth rounder two years ago. And that's it for the defense. So we'll see what happens with Darnell. On the wing, David Posternock is willing to come back. He wants a shitload of money. We flip the coin. He will not allow be allowed to be traded if he comes back. But I will be looking to bring back Pasta as well. And we'll try to run this season back as much as we possibly can. Uh, we'll see how well that works out for me. Uh, Roarer does not want to come back. So he'll be dropped. He was a good depth option for us. We'll qualify Turner, Fletcher, McLeod. Uh, Racine can stay. Schwenard's not great. Fourth round pick of the Ducks. Yeah, we'll let go of Pascal Schwenard. Uh, we're not going to sign Dave Callahan to his ELC because he's not very good. We will sign Georgievich for the hell of it. Naughton's another forward. McCall's another forward. That's the one thing I haven't checked yet. I'll check at the start of the year. Uh, left wings, Korhanen's going to get qualified. Ulanoff stays. Solovioff stays. Richter, we're going to let go of White. He's okay, but we're going to let go of White just to make sure that we uh, have some roster spots. This other Koski Ranta guy is not very good. And Redenbach is also not very good, so we'll let go of him. At center, Rupe Hintz is willing to come back. Coin flip for him as well. Three straight heads. So Nurse, Posternock, and Hints would all have the full no movement clause and would be on the roster for the entire season. So that's uh, a little bit scary, but if they play like they did last year, it won't be a concern. Qualify Sullivan. We will uh, aim to keep Svitov around. He's a decent fourth liner. Keep Mink. We'll keep Subban. Can keep Vauclair as well, I guess. Uh, Got to sign McArdle to his ELC. Don't need to sign Gilbert. All right. Let's see what's up with the UFA's first. Pasta rejects the cheaper offers. So does Hint. So does Nurse. Jesus Christ, they all did. And now people aren't willing to take pay cuts. Well, Chad, if your goal was to make sure we never see a Stanley Cup final, I think you succeeded. So well done. I think that was our best chance to maybe do something. And uh, holy fuck. So if that was the uh, that was the goal. Well done. Well done. Uh, Shesterkin. We'll go with offers that are more in line with. Uh, with asking price, unfortunately. Which, uh... It's gonna get expensive quickly. Very, very quickly. Okay. Try to save some money on the deals if we can. Let's 
see. Pasta rejects again. Rupe signs. Nurse rejects. Shesty rejects. Vitoff rejects. Yep. All right. Well, uh, pretty much the core of last season is going to have to be the core of this season because we are not going to have a ton of money to work with on the open market after keeping our veterans and hoping that they don't massively, massively regress. So... See what happens. Pasta signs, nurse signs, Shesterkin, Svitov still rejects. He's being a bit of a pain now, isn't he? Leave us about 25 million. With RFA is actually it's about 26. Okay. All right. Still got some big moves to do to get this team set up for a new season. We'll have a lot of dudes accepting their qualifying offers here. Turner, slow me off. All right. So, most important thing right now is coaching staff. Easily. Easily, that's the most important thing. Because there's one guy out there that just left that needs to come back. It's got to be Bouchard. And I got to pretty much give this guy a max offer because him having the... Uh, him having the coaching scheme fit that he did, I do feel like was a, uh, hmm, you know, was a really big part of this team's success. So, fingers crossed, old Bernie wants to come back. I mean, he's 64 going on 82, but he is young enough that he shouldn't retire, at least not immediately. I would hope. I would hope. I would hope. Uh, Mac it is, yeah. Which, I mean, I fully expect chat to fire the guy once we sign him. But that's okay, because it only means that they wasted their time, whoever does it, along with mine, <laughs> to wait for this Mac's offer to go through. <laughs> so, at this point, now we get to sit here and find ways to waste chat's time, too. The greatest revenge. The greatest revenge. Uh, Stubbs, we did just go through the draft, yeah. Uh, Kamiski, a cap, these oh, man, the six months in advance. Don't see one of those too often. Thank you for that. I'll try not to have you wish that you changed your mind, sir. Thank you. Appreciate you. Whew. The six months in advance. Confidence that in 2024, you're still going to want to watch this shit show. I respect it. Yeah, Stubbs, the draft on paper went decently for us, so we'll see if it uh, lives that way. If this team never wins a cup, where will the series rank? I mean, it's, you know, despite the limitations, uh, still managed to build some awesome, awesome teams. So if we don't win, hey, we've had awesome, awesome teams that haven't won before. Like, it's just, it's what it is. Um, only now we have the extra added factor of how much is chat to blame for it? Let's see. So goalies, we know that we do not need an elite level goalie. Because we basically already have two goalies. So the only question is, is there a younger prospect? The Helms? Helms might be too good, but... What about backups? If not... Younger backup here. Otherwise, it's that Helms guy, and we gotta hope he doesn't get too good. Arkhipov. Also at 23. Let's go for Arkhipov. This guy will be our target for a goalie for defense. Nothing great on the RFA market. UFA wise. Is there anything really here out of these top four defensemen? Henry Thrun had a pretty good year last year. 48 points as a shark. Ian Moore. 50-point defenseman for the Coyotes. Hey, Kip, I appreciate you. It's got to be AHL, right? Yeah. So... It's got to be Thrun or more. 
I have to take a look at what this team's defense is shaping up to be. York Nurse, Sandine Beaulieu, Adams and Jones are both looking like they could take the step up immediately. So I actually don't know if we need to sign one of those uh, one of those options. Three or more would be very helpful, but the money, I can't guarantee it. Like, they're not super high-end. So, if I could find a prospect here as well, I'd be pretty happy with that. This dude named Osgood might end up being too good. We should go to minor league top two. Favorite restaurant, favorite thing to get, isn't it Cracker Barrel? Cracker Barrel's up there, man. Cracker Barrel's fucking elite. The blueberry pancakes with main syrup, side of bacon. Shot to Cracker Barrel. Except for that fucking peg game, I suck at that thing. Alright, our defensive target is going to be 23-year-old Weirkoch. Who uh, wants a little bit more than expected, but he'll be our target there. And for the forwards, Korhanen's the big name on the RFA market, and is Valery Volchenkov, who was once our player. Jesus, I had my fucking foot pedal. Uh, Volchenkov has not exactly been a killer in Florida, though. So if we were to look at UFAs, there is a top dog out there. Yuha Ranta. Second overall pick of the Sharks back in the day. Ooh, man, this guy. That guy could be interesting. There's also Slavkovsky at 54 points. James Hagens. Bellardi's decent. I mean, there are some decent UFAs here that put up points. Oh, even, ooh, even Miko Rantanen is a veteran. 42 goals for Rantanen. You have Aho, who was in the uh, 60 points, but I mean, ranting in, in that 70 range. And again, I hate that I can't use the triggers to scroll. If it's not Ranta, it's got to be ranting in. Go figure. Go figure, go figure. Really quickly. That right side. Already has Line A, Pasternak, Koski, Ranta. Line A can play the left, which would be Korhanen, Bennett, and another and another dude. That would mean running Ness at center. I think I got to go for one of those targets. I think I have to. It's just a matter of which one. Ranta wants six years. Rantanen wants one. And his dual position. We're going to go for the veteran. We're going to go for Miko Rantanen. Question is, would he have a no movement clause? Jesus Christ. Yes, he would. Everybody would. So basically, every veteran I'm bringing in would not be allowed to be moved. But I'm willing to risk it. I'm willing to risk it. Let's see what happens here. And hopefully we get some coaches. Charity stream Saturday, Sunday. Uh, Friday. And then potentially into Saturday as well. We'll see. Mostly on Friday, though. Mostly. Bunny, take it easy, by the way, if you're still here. Yes, Bernie. All right, Bernie's back. We're not having too much luck with scouts aside from him. Weirkoch, Arkhipov sign. Rantanen has signed was a pretty prolific playoff performer at this stage. We have three spots left for coaches. So Marisa Boudreau, there's the fire random scout from Free Fallen. 
So we'll have to lose somebody. I need AHL head coach. For Aaron Comiskey, which I do not think is going to happen. And for the three A minuses. See if we can send these guys a little bit more money. Money talks. Everyone's got a price, as Ted DiBiase said, and then he went on to defraud the state of Mississippi. So that's someone's advice to follow, you know? All right, we're going to fire a random scout. Let's uh, roll a number between 1 and 20. And it's number 8. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Sorry to Burns. So we'll be down a, uh, a scout for the season. Comiskey, Devereaux signed. Come on, coaches, you're screwing me here. I need two more of you. You're screwing me here. You guys haven't signed anywhere else. Come on now. Aaron Comiskey, you've turned everybody else down. Let's make something happen here. Let's make something happen here. Miles Watkins. Hopefully that'll be enough. Hopefully it will. What are we at? Okay. Come on now. Come on now. Getting real tired of these... Friggin' coaches, man. Oh my god. <laughs> this is horrific luck. This is... Horrific luck. Comiskey, come on, buddy. Shit or get off the pot. Sign with Dallas or sign with me. Let's make something happen here. I believe in you. One of these days, EA will add a max offer option and I would have signed you 10 minutes ago but no as Mitch Marner wow Toronto traded Mitch Marner after making it to the Stanley Cup final and Cole Hawkins to Winnipeg for Billy Heinola 